Nearly 700 days ago, this massive Russian cargo plane landed at Toronto Pearson International Airport. As the federal government moves to seize the plane, there's no sign it's on the move anytime soon. Drive past Pearson Airport, it's a sight that's hard to miss. Even at night, you can see this Antonov 124 from Highway 427. Head over to Google Maps, it's been here so long, it now shows up on satellite imagery. The plane touched down on February 27, 2022. It was bringing a supply of COVID-19 tests. Hours after it landed, a federal ban on Russian aircraft in response to the invasion of Ukraine. In April 2023, Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal visited Canada. He said there were discussions of seizing the plane and transferring it. Two months later, the federal government moved to do just that. But ever since June, it appears there's been a lot of talk without much action. City News has spent the past few days trying to get answers. We spoke with GTAA, the operators of Pearson Airport. A spokesperson referred questions about the plane to the federal government, but added they need the tarmac space. Global Affairs Canada called the June seizure order a first step. Under the law, an administrative review can be requested by an asset's owner. A spokesperson said in a statement, steps will be taken in due course. Eventually, a legal application needs to be made at a provincial court. We couldn't even get an answer if there's a review underway. City News contacted Volga Dnepr, the company that owns the plane, to ask about this, but we didn't hear back. Meanwhile, a different federal department is responsible for overseeing seized items. A spokesperson tells me talks about managing the plane at Pearson have been ongoing and there still isn't a finalized plan. NDP Foreign Affairs critic Heather McPherson is calling for more action and transparency from the federal government. As Canadians, we're not being given the information that we need to know that our government is, is doing their job properly with regards to sanctions. So we will continue to ask for that clarity, ask for them to provide that information. So regardless of what happens here, the operator of this airplane is going to face a huge bill before it can take off. And it's a bill that's growing every day. There are currently more than $750,000 in airport parking fees. Outside Toronto Pierce International Airport, Nick Westall, City News.